So hello and welcome back guys. All of us want a great memory. Great memory is always a great asset in everything that we do in life. But this is a common occurrence guys. How many times is it, it has happened with you that you have read something, you are reading a page in a book. By the end you read the end of the page, what you have read is all forgotten and you are unable to recall. Then you try to go back and the same thing happens. Today in this video, I'll be sharing certain tips to help you remember everything that you read. Guys, imagine yourself centuries back. Centuries back, neither paper was invented nor was the printing press. How did people remember things? The only way to remember things was to have a good memory. They used to practice it and that helped them develop their memories. It was a great asset for them. But for us, with all the resources available, we use our memory less and less. And this leads to fading down of the memory networks that we have in our brain. The more we push them, the more the neuronal networks will build and the more memory pathways will become more stronger and stronger. So for that, we need to follow certain steps or you can say certain tips to enhance your memory. So what is tip number one? Tip number one is never rush to memorize things when you are reading something. What you need to do is you need to comprehend first what you are reading with a laser sharp focus. So try and highlight, try and understand, try and take mark try and find out the keywords that are there in whatever you are reading and pay less attention to memory building point number two once you are done with it the second thing is to how to put this all these things into your memory box so for putting this there's a very very famous technique that is there that is called as mind palace technique also famously known by the great detective Sherlock Holmes which is also called as the Sherlock Holmes mind palace technique or what is called as the memory of loci. This was used by the Greeks previously. How many times it happens with us guys that whenever we are trying to say something we say that in the first place is this, in the second place is this, in the third place is this. From where has these sentences come into our literature? It has come from the same method that is the method of loci or the mind palace technique of forming your memory. How you use it? You visualize your house, you visualize different rooms. You have a drawing room, you have a living room, you have a library and a study, you have a kitchen. And in those you have a table in one room, a chair is there, some table is there, a laptop is there, maybe a refrigerator is there. So whenever you have finished with your reading, now the most important parts that you want to memorize and connect with them, what, what you need to do is just place them on a chair. So place one object on a chair, place the second object on a table, place the third object on something else. So it is just an imagination that you are doing. So imagine that you are memorizing a to-do list and in this to-do list, you have lots of things to cover. You have a few names to write down. So on a chair will be sitting one name. On a table will be sitting something else. On refrigerator there will be something else like an aeroplane that you need to remember. Or maybe a synapse that you want to remember. That is how you remember and place the things. So it is basically an integration of visual and spatial information together to consolidate and form great memory. And this is what the famous detective Sherlock Holmes has used in his different novels. What he does, especially in the Hound of Bucks Valley, is that suddenly he asks Dr. Watson to just get out of the room and he says to him that I want to go into my mind palace. So to remember lots of things that he comes around in different cases, in different detective ventures, as far as the footprints are concerned, as far as the different types of ammunition and arms are concerned, as far as different types of poisons are concerned, as far as different information of different cases is concerned. So all of this he has stored in a great mind palace which has lots of rooms where he has placed all that information and whenever he requires them, he recalls it together to form a conclusion and to come to a conclusion. He uses that. So it's a very, very powerful tool for developing a great memory. And last but not the least guys, 
to develop anything and to maintain anything you need to practice that thing so you need to have periodic repetitions and you need to have a uh, spaced repetitions maybe in the future videos we'll be elaborating some of the aspects about spaced repetitions so as far as our building memory is concerned hope this video will help you in your day-to-day -day life and in your academic ventures hope to see you in the next video till then have a good day and thank you very much